What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. I just got these today on Black Friday, and I'm really excited to open them, and I just couldn't wait any longer. So, in this video, we are going to be unboxing 12 of these Harry Potter Mystery Collectible Wand Boxes. Yes! I don't know if that's what they're called. Um, I got these at GameStop. The sale for Black Friday today was buy one, get one half off. So these cost $4.99 each, which means that basically for $7.50 you get two, which which means that these cost $3.75 each, which is a pretty good price for a blind box. Um, these each will have four inch die cast wands with stands. So I'm very excited about it. I have 12 of these. I got all of the ones that they had. They gave me the box, which is exciting. Um, I will quickly read up to you the wands that you could potentially get in one of these boxes. Harry Potter's wand. We have Professor McGonagall, Bellatrix Lestrange, Severus Snape, Newt Scamander. Oh, I didn't realize that Newt was in here. Oh, Oh, these are a mixture of, oh, these are a mixture of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Ugh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I just don't really like Fantastic Beasts. Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Albus Dumbledore, Porpentina Goldstein, Luna Lovegood, Lord Voldemort, and Draco Malfoy. So it's basically Harry Potter. Now there's 12 different ones and I bought 12 boxes, which means that most likely we're not going to get the whole set. We're going to get duplicates. But I'm excited to see what we can get. I really like, so the Elder Wand, which is Albus Dumbledore. Um, and then I like Severus's wand. And, you know, the other ones are cool. I like ones that are pretty, like, like Draco's wand it intrigues me. Because I just like when they're kind of simple. But, all right. Uh, if these are still available online, or if they are available online, I'll go ahead and link them down below just in case you're interested. I have seen these at Target. I've seen these at a bunch of different stores, but like I said, these were on sale, so that's what kind of makes it even better. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first one that we're opening, box number one. We got Luna Lovegood's one. I'm excited to actually put these out. I gotta build my other bookshelf, obviously. So here's the, ooh. It comes with a really interesting stand. For some reason, I thought the stand was just going to be kind of like bland, but this stand is like blue and wavy, so I guess this is legitimately die cast. You can hear the metal. I don't know if it's like we do it like that. Is that, is that how it's supposed to go? I mean, right? It makes sense that that's, that's what it, it does, right? I think so. I hope not all of them have this blue thing. This blue thing doesn't look as cool. Like... I think there's different ways they could have done it. But here's our little wand. I'm sorry, I didn't show you. Here's the little wand that it came with. It's a it's a metal wand, and again, it's four inches, so it's like die cast. So that's really cool. All right, well, first one is Luna Lovegood. Very nice, here we go. Ow, the knife kind of cut me. Good thing I have dry skin. I need to be more careful. Here we go, box number two, we got Ooh, we got Bellatrix Lestrange's wand. Hers is very noticeable because it, it's a little bit curvy. It's like bendy, it's not straight. I don't even know, cause she holds her wand weird, you know? So I guess that makes sense. So there's her wand. I am sad because the stand that all of these come from, I'm assuming are gonna all be the same. It's gonna be this like blue wavy thing. I just think there's um, some different different stands I could have gone with. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, but that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, well, at least we're two for two, so that's good. Okay, wand number three. Oh no, we got another Luna Lovegood wand. So I'm gonna actually put that back. That can go on my giveaway. So we have our first duplicate. See, I spoke too soon. I should have knocked on wood. That's what I get. I totally just jinxed myself. Okay, box number four. We got Lord Voldemort's wand. At one point, I think they had mystery boxes that were like full-size wands, but I didn't jump on those when they came out, so that was my bad. I think if I ever were to see those again, I probably would get them just because I think it's fun. And it's really interesting now because um, specifically Jackson, but Maddie as well, they're into Harry Potter. And I actually gave him one of my extra wands. It was Ron's wand because he really wanted a wand and, and he got really excited when he saw it. Okay, so four boxes down, eight more to go. Oop, this is, I totally just completely destroyed that box. Oh, we got Harry's wand. This one I know very well just because I have I have a couple of his wands. So there's his wand. 
I'm gonna say that like his actual size wand, it's not as comfortable as some of the other ones. Like I actually really like the Elder Wand. I feel like that one has been comfortable. I have um, a, so here's a Harry Potter one, but I also have a, I think it's a, a Sirius Black wand, and I like that one. That's my favorite, favorite one. But I also like the Elder one. Okay, so we got Harry Potter's wand. I hope that we get, um, I hope that we get the Elder one. That would be really cool. Put that right there. Okay, box number six. So this one, I think, is Porpentina Goldstein, which I'm assuming is something from Fantastic Beasts, because... I don't actually know who that is, and I don't like, I only saw Fantastic Beasts one time, guys, so don't get mad at me. But it's fairly simple and straightforward. This is the design. It has some good weight to it. I mean, I know that this is, they're metal, so that's probably why they have good weight to it, but that one has a good feel. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind eventually in my lifetime getting the set of like wands, but like the legitimate set. I forgot what the company that makes them is. And then having them like in the display case, you know? Okay, we have six more, so we're halfway there. And so far we got five unique wands. Not terrible, actually. Okay, well, this one's interesting. Which one's is this? This it must be Newt's wand because there's a little bit of a blue color tone to this. Yeah, this is Newt's wand, okay. So here's his wand. You can see that there's a little bit of blue on the handle and then it's actually a little bit hollow on the end. So that's cool. Newt Scamander. Oh, I dropped it. On this box, which is interesting, it has a picture of Harry's wand and it says actual size. And it actually is true. Look, it is the actual size of the wand. Usually those things aren't really like that, like close, you know? Okay, here we go. Box number seven or eight. Wait, four, five, six, seven. This is eight, box number eight. Okay, we got we got Mr. Malfoy's wand. It's very simple, it's a little bit bland. Okay, I'll be honest, because I said that I like simple wands, but this one's a little bit bland in the detail. It You probably could have a cooler wand, but I guess Draco's a little bit bland of a person, so it makes sense that his wand is a little bit bland. Not hating on Tom Felton though, because I, I really do actually like Tom Felton, the guy who played Draco Malfoy in the movies. I'm a fan of his. All right. I'm excited to put these up on my bookshelf. The blue wave thing looks a little bit weird though. I'll be, I like, I, it just, it doesn't look like it fits. Okay, this is box number nine. Oh, we got Professor McGonagall's wand. This one's pretty cool. She would have like these bulb ornaments on, on her wand. This seems like it'd be very uncomfortable to hold. Like if this was actually your wand, it just seems like it would be uncomfortable with that big bulb right there. But to each their own, right? The wand chooses the wizard, so I guess she didn't technically get to choose that. That right there. This is box number 10. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. We got Severus Snape's wand. Severus Snape's wand. Again, very it's very simple, but I like this one. It's hard to see the detail in the handle. It's just black. It's got some etching in it, two different kind of columns, but the, the wand itself is just full black. Ooh, I like that one. I like when we get wands that are like made out of metal, like even the full-size wands, just because they, they have a little bit more depth to them. They, they have that oomph to it, you know? It just feels like really nice. Um, but I like, I like Snape's wand. I'm a fan of that one. Okay, box number 11. Ah, okay. We got Hermione Granger's wand in this one. Hers has a lot of design all the way, almost all the way up to the end compared to the other ones where it's just on the handle. It's just kind of a brown color. It's a very long wand, hers is long. Okay, last box, box number 12. Let's see what we got. Ah. We got another Voldemort wand. I was really hoping for the Elder Wand. Out of the 12, and there was 12 different ones that we could get, we got two, four, six, eight, ten. So the ones that we didn't get were the were Ron Weasley's wand and uh, Albus Dumbledore's wand, who, which was technically the Elder Wand. So those are the two that we're missing. We ended up getting two duplicates. We got um, two Lord Voldemort wands and two Luna Lovegood wands. Uh, not too bad. I thought we were gonna get more duplicates. It kind of sucks because it makes it really difficult now. Like, if I try to complete this set, I'm gonna have to buy a, a probably a good amount of boxes to hopefully get those two, which kind of sucks, but it might be worth it. These are actually some fun, like, 
things that I can also give away, which is nice. Uh, I'm not against that at all. Now these things don't connect with each other, but they the bases are a little bit wavy, so they kind of fit into each other a little bit like a puzzle piece, sort of. Like legitimately sort of, not the best, but a little bit. All in all, I'm very, very excited about these. I love these like, I just like the replicaness of them. I'm excited to put these up on my bookshelves. I think they're gonna be a great addition. And I do wanna start trying to collect some of the full-size wands, like the actual ones. I think I have one true, legitimate Harry Potter wand, like license and everything. It's an elder wand that one of my old coworkers got me from Universal Studios. I need to definitely get myself to Harry Potter World in Universal Studios because I think I'm just gonna love it. I think it'll be great. Um, I am disappointed that they put, um, they put, Newt Scamander, and I'm assuming Porpentina Goldstein. I think she's from Fantastic Beasts, right? Or am I just getting that wrong? Uh, I'm kind of sad that they threw it into this because I feel like this is more like a Harry Potter thing, and I think they could have easily kept that a little bit more separate. But that's okay. It's okay. It's You know, it's whatever. Um, all in all, I would give these a thumbs up, especially if you get these for $3.75. I don't know if these are worth $5, but they are really, really, really cool, especially if you're able to get ones that you really like. So um, definitely for me, Snape, and I think I like Snape's the best, to be honest. I weirdly like Bellatrix's wand, just because it's like, I love the curve on hers. It's so interesting to me. It kind of looks like a mustache. But yeah, I, I would say that these ones, I actually really like Snape's wand. Again, if we would have gotten the Elder Wand, that would have been my favorite, for sure. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about these mystery wand boxes, my blind boxes. Again, I think they had some at one point that were like full-size wands, but I didn't get any of those. I, again, I'm, I'm kind of sad I didn't, but let me know what you guys thought about these ones. Has anyone purchased any of these? And if you have, which ones did you get? Does anyone have the, uh, the Elder Wand or Ron Weasley's wand? Ooh, let me know down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Out. Today's video shout is going to go to Nathan Chubb. Nathan Chubb, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support, and I want to give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Nathan Chubb. Shout out to you. When God am Leviosa. I never do the, the right movement. Aloha, Mora. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome night, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.